Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic Dirty Uncle Sam radio on RBN. There's two statements that always ring true. Truth is treason in an empire of lies. And also another truth. The American patriot does not follow the path of least resistance but resist because it is right. In the face of fear, oppression, and tyranny, they stand. Their soul binds them to a duty that cannot be bought nor sold. They stand and speak for the voiceless, weak, and oppressed, just as Jesus did. The reason that I bring up those two statements is what I am getting ready to cover with you, breaking news. Phenomenal, wonderful news has to do with a man that held those same principles. He spoke out for the voiceless, for the weak, for the oppressed. He spoke out against tyranny, and he spoke out against the injustices that were being got done to other Americans, whether it be theft of resources or whether it be the double jeopardy that the Hammonds have been subjected to and still sit in prison for today in violation of double jeopardy. On top of that, it is also cruel and unusual punishment. I am speaking of a man named Lavoy Fenicum. Lavoy Fenicum was shot dead January the 26, 2016 as the world saw the released video of the kill zone that was created by the Oregon State Police, by the FBI HRT team members, and by other quote-unquote partners as well. It was very clear it was an ambush. It was very clear they really didn't want anybody to come out alive. And if you remember the official reports, the official reports the FBI said that the Oregon State Police were the only ones who fired the bullets and the FBI agents claimed no bullets were fired from the FBI. But we have found evidence and proof that that is not the case. So now, with much prayer, much protest, much standing, continuing to speak out, God is moving God will not let this corruption go by without voices being heard, and I fully believe that. So sources say that the grand, say a grand jury convened in cover-up of Lavoie Finnecum murder. Four FBI HRT team members may be indicted. At least two sources are confirming that a grand jury has been called to decide if there is enough evidence to indict four FBI HRT team members in the cover-up of Lavoie Finnecum, who was shot and killed on January 26, 2016, by Oregon State Police. Guerrilla Media Network received information 10 days ago that a grand jury had been called to decide if there was enough evidence concerning a cover-up by FBI HRT team members on the ground in Burns, Oregon, to formally charge them with a crime. Members of HRT, or a hostage rescue team, have been accused of shooting at Lavoie Fenicum as he exited his vehicle on January 26, 2016, with his hands in the air. Legal sources in the Portland told GMN that they were aware of the grand jury had been convened, but did not have information about an actual indictment at the time the information was passed down to us. GMM went on to report that Bob Powell of The Truth is Viral stated that he confirmed with sources at the Justice Department that an indictment may soon come against four agents involved in the cover-up. In all, there were four shots fired at Mr. Finnecum by these rogue agents before and after he exited his truck, Powell said. Finnecum's widow, Jeanette Finnecum, also confirmed that she had heard about the convening of the grand jury as well. She has also filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the Oregon State Police and called on American patriots to stand against the growing tyranny of the central governments. 
I'll believe it when I see it, said Mrs. Fenicum on Wednesday. Though the Oregon State Police were apparently responsible for actually shooting Fenicum to death, the FBI claimed to investigate several of their agents concerning failing to report that they had fired shots at Fenicum and his vehicle. They apparently disposed of the bullet casings as well. So this is excellent news. And I hope it's not just for falsification of documents. They disposed of bullet casings, so they tampered with evidence. They violated a crime scene. They went along with an assassination, which is conspiracy. It only takes two for conspiracy against rights. I hope they, as well as the Oregon State Police that were involved, and anyone else that may have been there from a non-government organization working with them, I have the hope, no, I have the prayer, you all will be held accountable. And I also have the hope that true justice will finally be done. The Patriots sitting in prison right now did nothing wrong. They weren't violent. They weren't out there killing police. They were handshaking with them. They never pointed a weapon at one of them. It was not a federal building. It was a refuge. And they cleaned it up because the, the Bureau of Land Management didn't do their job in the first place and keep it clean. They were destroying Bureau of Land Management, that is, Native American artifacts that are priceless. They didn't care. Anyway. I apologize, this is just really dear to my heart. It's time for individuals who are corrupt or who go along with corruption to be held accountable. I don't care who you are. That's why people don't trust the police. Because they cover up for the corruption and they go along with it because it's orders that were given. All for corrupt politicians that links right back. Here we go again to Hillary Clinton and her little theft of resources by selling off the Oregonians' resources. Even New York Times reported on her Uranium One deal. Everybody's focused on the emails. Yeah, that's horrible. Lord knows she needs to be arrested just for that. When will she be made to answer for her crimes? Because she is a domestic terrorist. She is within our borders. She does attack our people. She just does so behind closed doors, under a government blanket, and steals the resources from under the people, and destroys communities and lives, and she's not being held accountable for that. I believe, and I pray, that these four officers will be held accountable and everybody else involved with it, including the sheriff of Harney County, including Judge Grassy, Sheriff Ward, and here's the thing, 
you may think you're slick and you may think you get by with what you've done. But one day, you will answer to my Father. You will answer to God. And you will have no wiggle room or way out unless you have repented for your sins. We can only hope. Thank you for listening tonight. Please get this information out. I will leave a copy of the article in the description box below. God bless you and good night.